been so long since I've done a proper haul. Why am I holding my ovaries again? I don't know. Why do I do that? It's kind of weird. It's like I want pockets there where my ovaries are. Very, very strange. I am. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. So, sorry this video is going up a bit later in the day. This is a haul video. It is some things that I acquired while I was gone over the December and New Year period. I ordered from while I was overseas. I know, I know. But anyway, we'll talk about that another time or maybe not. Um, so yeah, so these are the things that I bought for spring. My mind is so into spring at the moment, it's not even funny. So just sit back and let me just show you some of the things that I've got. Also, I am hoping, I really am, sorry, I'm getting so like, I am hoping that a delivery comes today because you don't know that sometimes I will shoot a video and the doorbell goes and something comes on me. So I'm hoping, God, I'm pulling it out there. I'm hoping it happens during the recording of this video because it's actually Friday the 19th. And that is the day this video was actually going up. So I literally waited until the day I post my Friday video, hoping that one of, one of my deliveries comes. So let's see if it does and I'll be able to bung it in at the end. But anyway, anyway like I said, I am so looking forward to spring. Aren't you lot? It's everywhere, isn't it? Well, at least online in the shops as well. You're starting to sort of trickle in. They show you like all these gorgeous like collages of spring and the colors and everything. And it's flipping freezing outside. So it's torture for us, but that doesn't stop us from looking, getting inspired and seeing what is out there. So that is what I hope this video helps you with. All right, so the first item I'm gonna show you is actually it's not really springy, but this is a perfect piece to wear with spring things, like to transition. By the way, I'm gonna show you um, the pieces, how they look on, but first of all, I'm just gonna like just show them here so you can see what they look like. So, first up is this, look. I got this black jumper from Topshop on sale. Um, it was reduced to, I believe, half price, but look at this. It's just a plain black jumper and I like that it's not too long so I can tuck it into like high-waisted jeans if I want and it's the sleeves. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, it's flipping massive. It looks even bigger on screen than it does in person. Flip it. But that's, that's why I like it. It's the sleeves of it. How gorgeous is that? So yeah, just wear this and you can just wear like summer dresses and you just layer this over it so it looks like you're just wearing a skirt this oh god that's so good anyway so i'm going to show you how this looks on in a minute usually 75 dollars or 39 pounds and i got mine in a us 10 uk 14 uk 14 how is that a UK 14? But like I've always said to you before, ignore the sizes, which I did, because I wanted this to fit a bit oversized and it's perfect. I really, I just love this thing. I just think it's so, God, look how it looks with the brown hair. Oh, I love it. By the way, speaking of hair, I am gonna do a video for you all about my hair, like what I use in it, how I use the products, what they are, obviously, what my best ones are, my favorites of the favorites, um, who colors my hair, who looks after my hair, just my general hair story, like, because my hair was relaxed for, for like a large part of my adult life. Then I decided to cut it and go natural and I haven't relaxed my hair for, anyway, I don't wanna get into it now, but I will be doing a separate video all about my hair, so thumbs up if that's something that you really are interested in seeing. But anyway, next item, and let me shut off these flipping devices, honestly. So, the next thing that I got, she says, snapping the tag off. <laughs> the next thing I got, wait till you see. You remember the Coke Purge video? I'll link it here if anyone still hasn't seen that controversial video. Um, and I'll also link it below. There was only one coat that I regret purging out of all the coats that I got rid of. I went into Topshop, as you know they have their sale on right now, and there it was, all by itself, just all by itself, 
the right size on sale clearance. I bought it back, didn't I? You lot were right and I was right. Rihanna, sorry my love, I love you, but had to keep that coat. This coat, I missed it. I love the color of this coat with my skin tone, this, this kind of blush pink. And it was one of the coats that I tossed. But anyway, I missed it. I really missed that coat. I love the color of this coat, the teddiness of the coat. You know what I mean? I just love everything about, God, I'm wearing the wrong thing, but I don't care. Just so you get up. Oh my God, I actually kind of like it with this. Oh, you see what I'm saying? I just, I love this coat. I mean, I wouldn't normally wear something like this under it with it, but I don't care. Do you know what I mean? I love, I'm in, oh God, what am I doing? Anyway, I love this coat. I love it so, so much. And that was a mistake to let it go. I just really, I can't help looking at the monitor because I just love the color of it. This is such a beautiful shade of pink, a beautiful blush pink. If you lot go to a top shop, if you have a top shop around you and go to the coat section, if there is one of these left, I beg you to try it on because I think it's a very flattering color for most skin tones. Black can be very stark against a lot of people's skin because it's such a clash color, even though a lot of people own a black coat. But it's such a surprising difference to have a winter coat that is pink and especially the right shade of pink and this is just the right shade it's coming out quite true to how it looks in person i absolutely love it anyway i bought it back and i'm so glad i did i just think it's so my hands like that that looks so weird look like that it looks like another person under there so glad i got it back and i think this is like spot on for spring obviously it was the shopping gods karma you call it what you like, but I was obviously meant to get it back and um, I put it out there. Ever since I got rid of it, I was thinking about it hard and I was hoping I'd find it and I did. So that's, there you go. There's that shopping manifestation thing I've been telling you a lot about. I'm telling you, it's real. It's real, it's real. It's as real as this flipping coat. All right, now to show you the rest of the stuff. So sticking with Topshop, I saw this skirt and I remember seeing it when it was full price and I'm so glad that I took it. It's a little bit too big for me, but I believe it was the only size I had left. It was this striped like handkerchief hemline skirt. So, 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 so good. I'm so happy that I got this skirt. Uh, it's exactly what I wanted. I wanted something that was that's very strong graphic black and white this i imagine teaming it with um sweat sweaters at the moment just jumpers especially that black one that i just showed you like that i've already worn this i teamed it with um like a bright yellow like polo neck and a long black coat i'll show you here so you can see what that looks like but and cowboy boots because i'm really into cowboy boots at the moment back again i used to wear them before but now i'm like really back into them for spring so um yeah so i'm so so glad that i found this and it was on sale like i said and this is an absolutely fantastic number you can wear this later on with just like t-shirts and sandals but for now i've just been teaming it like i said i wore it with uh, cowboy boots but any kind of ankle boot you can wear because it's ultra long on me i will show you this on me in a minute but because it's so long on me i wear it with boots that have a bit of a lift to them if i can and just wear like a jumper with it and it's like it's perfect. Well, it's from, okay, Reformation. They had a flipping sale and a half during the holiday season last month. And I went, what is that? <laughs> I just started buying stuff because I knew that come spring, summer, that stuff is gonna be full price. And I don't want to pay full price for Reformation. Sorry, Reformation. Although I did with um, that dress, the one here, that white one, sorry couldn't find it on sale in my size so i just had to allow that one because i love that dress anyway so i got this now this is <laughs> this is actually from the petite look how short this is yes i know this is a dress bear with me just just bear with me a second i'll put it on so you can see but the beauty of it because you can't really see right now is the shoulders it's got like this sort of ruching going across both shoulders and then on the front it has like a little tie here and it's got like light ruffles going along the bust line here i'll put it on so you can see what it looks like on but this looks so pretty on but it is extremely short for me because it's from the petite section um, and i'm five foot seven 
So, and I never buy anything that's petite because with my long arms and legs, it just looks like a child's dress. Personally, I always thought to myself that if it doesn't work, and this is a tip for you guys, I would just wear it as a top instead. So, because the beauty of it to me is literally this part when I put it on, but I would just team it with um, a skirt so it tucks into a skirt or I could team it with maybe even a pair of jeans, the right jeans, and I could just tuck this in and just wear this like a bodysuit. But this is just so pretty. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Also, I got this dress from Zara. Now, I think I, I've got a thing for like green long dresses, I've noticed, because this is, must be my, my third one, I think. Yeah, I think it's my third one. Could not let this one go. I think it was reduced to like 19 99 It was so, so inexpensive. It's coming off a little bit bright on screen. It's high necked and I like that kind of Victorian ruffle detail here. Really, really pretty. And I love the cuff on it. Look at that cuff with all those buttons there. That is, oh, I just think that is so, so pretty. This, this ticks off all the boxes. This is a typical Karen dress. It has that kind of vintage vibe to it. And that's what draws me to things like this. So I was really, really happy to get it. Back to Reformation, I got this dress. Again, I'm gonna show you it on. It comes with this um, a belt. And it's basically, you can almost see it here. It's a short sundress. Beautiful ruffle shoulders details. Ultra V-neck front here, just like that white one that I wore in St. Lucia. Reformation are kind of known for like having dresses that just have like this deep V front. I realize that they're not really too friendly therefore for girls with like big tits, but you know, luckily with my little light switches, you know, I'm able to sort of get away with it just about. I do put tit tape on though here though, just to like keep, you know, the light switches in. But um, yeah, that is it. I just really like this dress and it just goes here with the belt around it and it's beautiful. I really like that silhouette, so this is gorgeous. So I'll show you that on in a minute. Right, what else can I show you? Also, I got this dress as well from Reformation and it's white, it's linen. Um, God, it's blowing out. It is blowing out just a little bit too much. Um, it is basically a long linen dress. It's a maxi dress. You can see it coming all the way down here. And the detail of it is that it's just got these oversized brown buttons that go down one side only of the dress all the way to the split. It's got quite a, a fairly high split, I would call that. Um, but this looks so pretty on, um, it's got like a simple tie here at the back just to give it a little bit more shape if you want to. But yeah, I really like this. Again, all these things from Reformation were all like 50% off. Um, I think some were even 70% off. So I can't remember like which was what from what I'm showing you, but that was the price window reduction. To me, this is like timeless. It just does not date a dress like this. Bloody hell though, trust me, pressing this thing is no fun. Because it's linen, it takes forever. Like I have my eye in on the hottest setting and it just takes so long to get pressed. Ugh. Anyway, I digress. I'll show you these things on now. Just look at that front. Whoa! Oh my god. Flash to the wind. I got no bra on right now in case you hadn't noticed. But anyway, so this is the Reformation, one of the Reformation dresses, and here's the sash that it comes with. As you can see, it's just a very simple, basic dress, but I think this is so, so pretty for the summer. Um, and for spring when it gets really, really warm. Um, I wish I had this for, for, with me in St. Lucia, but that's okay, another time. Like I said, I'm gonna put tip tape right there, fashion tape. If you look at the one I'm talking about, it's that tape that you put on when you wear like um, plunging items and you just want to, you know, if you lean, lean forward, you're not wearing a bra, you don't want to flash your light switches to everybody, so you just wear um, tip, like tape, it's like scotch tape or cellar tape, but it's designed especially for clothing. And you put it right there, and it doesn't hurt the skin or the clothing, it doesn't damage it. And it just stays the whole night, it just does that, it just stays like this. So when you lean forward, it just does that. Versus, you know, if I leant forward without, you'd see everything. But um, yeah, so this is the belt that it has that it comes with. Um, I don't know, I'd probably like wear it on the side or something, I'm not really too sure. But it's just, yeah, it's really, really simple. I just, oh God. When I saw this dress, I just thought this was just so, so cute. It's just ruffles, just simple ruffles. And that is really how the dress is made. I really, oh God, 
It's so pretty. Yeah, definitely need tip tape. Definitely need some tip tape. But yeah, apart from that, this is such a beautiful dress. It's a US 10. Um, so yeah, they're sizing to me, at least in my opinion, it runs a little bit small. So if you ever order from Reformation, go up a size, which is what I did. Yeah, very simple. I love it. This is going to look so good with just like espadrilles, like flat espadrilles or even like wedge black espadrilles um, and just thong sandals, the kind of sandals that you saw me wear in St. Lucia, like the Madewell ones, the black ones that just go up your legs. I call them like Jesus sandals. Yeah, they're so nice, but oh God, this is so pretty. Anyway, that's the first dress. Let me just show you the next one. Okay, so here is the other Reformation dress, the long one. Um, I just switched lenses to get a bit wider so you can see the full length of it. But I just like how simple it is. It's just like a square neck and just buttons down the side with thin straps. I mean, it's about as basic as it gets. Um, let me change this viewing so you can see how it looks a bit longer on though. Oh, let me see. Let's ignore that. Anyway, so yeah, so this is it. Oh my God, I feel like I'm in a Puff Daddy video. I'm coming. Do, do, do. <laughs> this is, all right, so this is it. This is the dress. I put on a pair of like just espadrilles, some castanet espadrilles, two slits, one on both sides, as you can see here. And yeah, it's just really, really basic. Just a basic dress. And obviously just make this dress, I guess, sort of cinch it in like that. A little bit more if you want, like that, right? Because right now it's kind of like, it's kind of just straight up and down the way I've got it. But I could have just tied it a little bit tighter and just get more of a waist definition, which is probably how I would wear it, especially if it's, um, you know, pre-lunch and pre-dinner, because post, you're gonna want as much slack as you can get for that food baby. This is the dress, I really do like it. Completely different, isn't it, right, to the other one, which was just black, kind of short, very kind of sexy with that deep front um, and ruffles, and this one is much more classic. You know, I feel like sort of, can film festival well no not can film festival what am i talking about but i feel like you know european saint tropez big hat you know and just wearing it with like bare feet and you've got a tan and you're just walking around with your big straw bag anyway so that's how i this is this is what is going on in my mind when i'm thinking about wearing this right bag. ladies this is the one that is really short it's a petite okay so i'm just going to show you up here this is why i liked it it was just this this these ruffles across the bust line and then um, on the shoulders as well. It boobs up a bit. Very pretty and I love that about it. So yeah, so that is what it looks like up here. And <gasps> wait, wait till you see how short this is. <laughs> see, I've got these jeans here because I want to see, I've not done it yet, but I want to see if I can wear jeans with it and just turn it into like a bodysuit. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think that I can wear it like just as is? I mean, I really do like it a lot, um, but again, it's a petite. So it's meant for somebody who is short. So obviously the dress is meant to be longer. You know what I mean? I'm just wearing it as like, like a real short dress. <sighs> I'm gonna do this in front of you, sod it. Actually, I'll get a bit closer so you lot don't see anything. Oh God, oh, hang on. You come over here a bit, bloody hell. I'm like revealing myself to the world. Oh, right, Let's see if I can get, if I can get jeans on. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. If I can get these jeans on, look. I put jeans on over, over it to see. Oh God, I can't breathe. No, if I can just see, <laughs> don't laugh. I know you're not laughing. If I can just do this and then look. Oh, turn it into like a bodysuit instead so it looks like weird anyway so this is what i'm thinking right just wear it like this like a bodysuit i think it's the ones with the copper buttons yes these are the ones that have the copper buttons that i love so much i'm always telling you a lot about it's these ones i just really oh I know it just means something when it's, it doesn't mean anything, but I just like the fact that it's copper buttons. Anyway, digressing as usual. So yeah, so I've turned it into a bodysuit instead. So yeah, that instead of a dress or both, but also I could put a skirt over it. Hang on, hang on. Let me just turn this off for a second. 
Okay, so I switched to a denim maxi skirt that I have. I got it from a vintage shop. Please use that as a tip if you're out and about and um, you find like a petite dress like this is and you know it's too short for you. Just look at it from like here up, right? Just sort of do that with your eyes. Cover the bottom part of it and just see, is it pretty enough? So that you can thin enough as well, so you can just use it as just a layering piece. So that is what I'm going to do with this. I'm just going to wear it with, um, if I don't feel like wearing like you know as a full dress, I'm just going to wear it like this and just layer it. Anyone who's new to my channel, I do have a shopping guide series that I started. Um, best vintage best vest. <laughs> best vintage shops guide the video is down below as far as like the best vintage shops in new york in my opinion hands down i'm sure i'll eventually do a part two to that video but for anyone who's new to my channel check it out because where i got this skirt was probably from one of those in fact i know it was from one of those vintage shops um so yeah so that is the combination how i kind of see it sort of playing out during the spring slash summer time but yeah just buying out of season, that's all I'm doing right now. I'm buying out of season because it's cheaper, right? Um, I mean, the coat, that is just like a bargain, the pink coat. I got lucky with that one. It was the last one, it was one of those moments, right? It's a sign, because it was my size. Um, and I can wear that definitely from now going into transitioning for springtime, so that's perfect. And I really, yeah, I like this, right? Not bad, not too, not too bad. Do you know what? Nothing's arrived yet. I oh, There are more things I ordered and I have a horrible feeling that this is going to be a part two. Sod it, it's going to be a part two, sorry. But there's more stuff that I've got coming and I'm just going to show you like, if not Tuesday next week, then Friday next week. So we'll see, you know, when it actually arrives so I can record it for you. There is one more dress that I got from Reformation and I don't know if I want to keep it or not, but... Um, I don't know, I'm gonna put it on for you now and you tell me what you think. Yeah, if I don't keep it, I'm gonna put it in my shop, okay? So I'm gonna put it on right, right now for you. Okay, so here's the other one, deep front. I had to put a little bra on with it so you could see. It's got like a sort of jersey material feel to it. Um, obviously the signature Reformation, just deep plunging front. So what do you reckon? Keep it, don't keep it? It's got bucket pockets here. Um, and just wide sleeves. I love the idea of it. I don't know if it just looks a bit like a dressing gown on me, right? Does it look like a Tell me what you, I don't want to influence you, but tell me if you think, does this look like a dressing gown or not? I don't know. Does it, or does it look okay? You know, if I'm holding like my bag, like a little, you know, summer bag on my side, which was gonna look really good with it, I can imagine, but I don't know. I don't know, see, I've even got the tag still on it because I'm just not, I'm just not sure, I'm undecided. I'm undecided about this one. So, what do you think? Keep, don't keep, talk to me. Oh God, I nearly tripped over the mat. Um, yeah, so tell me what you think about this one. I can't decide. Um, I need some tit tape right there, as you can see. But, um, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. Maybe I can wear it back to front. Should I try it back to front? I am, hold on, hold on. Let's see what it looks like together. Right, I'm just gonna do it with you lot here. All right, so I'm switching it around. Put it back on, back to front and see. Will it look good or will it look absolutely ridiculous? Oh. Hang on, hang on. I'll be with you guys in a minute. It could look really matronly this way. Oh! So what do we reckon? Does it work? Does it work back to front? Because you know how I like to do that? Back to front stuff all the time. Um, hmm, I don't know. The back. Here's the back. What do you think? Hold on, here's the full length so you can see it a bit better. So what do you think? Oh, got the pockets are right there. <laughs> but anyway, do you like the idea of wearing it like back to front? Do you think that's kind of like, just wear it like high here, right? So just wear it like a high neck kind of dress. Oh, Michael's back. Wear it as like a high, high front. What do you think? Yes or no? So also tell me about this one. Because if not, I'm just going to put it in my shop when you lot can have it. Okay, so I forgot something I wanted to add in, which is another coat that I picked up. 
and uh, it's a navy coat that I've always wanted but let me just show you this first this is the Zara dress the high necked one um, it actually goes like this on I'm just wearing just one button done up just look at that that Jesus that but I love a good cuff. If you look at the very beginning of this video, when I was wearing that navy shirt with the oversized collar, the 70s collar, I love oversized cuffs on dresses, on blouses, on shirts. That is just my thing. Love it with this navy, navy, it's gorgeous single-breasted navy coat that I picked up on sale from Mango. Um, I have a coat practically identical to this from H&M, which I got couple of years ago now but I've always wanted a softer color in the same style in other words but still dark and to me that is navy love this play on two luxe materials and two luxe colors coming together you know why I talk about jewel tones so you've got like this here like the emerald here of this dress and then you team it with the sapphire blue of this navy I just oh I just love that combination like I said it's double breasted with flat pockets I really like the lapels on it it's really really simple I always look for like a good lapel too like just the way this notch is cut here is just important to me I just I know it just means something to me with like this right just we're like oh look at that so those colors together those three colors green navy and then the brown again let me just show you how this looks on so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about you just wear like tights like wool tights under and you just fling this on for now I just think this looks so good together there you go hold on you can't see anything can you I'll bring this down and then bring this out look oh oh my god my hair is so freaking long um but look i really do like this oh my gosh i'm so so pleased about this anyway yeah so oh god my battery's dying so here you go heads chopped off but anyway i always like to take into account like what is the person's skin tone what is their skin color because i find that there are hero colors that suit you know certain skin tones god i'm trying to remember there was something i wanted to say to you lot i can't remember oh god the top shop hold on let me just put the top shop on that's the last thing i think from this haul okay so here is the last piece that i got the last two pieces which are from topshop it is the polar neck and look at these sleeves <gasps> they're so so big they're like so voluminous but i do kind of like oh my god <laughs> but you know what i actually sort of like them i just think it's such a dramatic contemporary kind of polar neck and i love it i think it's great so yeah so it's nice and high as well which i love and obviously it's all about these sleeves i think these are marmite right so you're either gonna love them or you don't i actually do like it i could even see this like tucked in to um like a pair of jeans like straight leg jeans or any kind of like pant like a fluid wide leg pant i really do like this um a good staple and a nice twist on the staple as well and i'm teaming it with this skirt which i will show you a little bit more of let's go down a little bit more here so you can see everything hold on is that enough is that enough yeah i think that is that is good enough so yeah this is the skirt which i am so so pleased about hang on so here is the top shop skirt um but yeah and i teamed it with my um kitten heel steve madden boots i will actually link to these boots below for you so you can see where to get them i love these boots they are so so comfortable yeah so that is what this all looks like together that's, it. that's my lot those are the things that i've picked up so far for spring um like i said this can be transitioned easily with just a t-shirt just switch this out wear a t-shirt with this a plain one it's going to look absolutely fantastic so i'm looking forward to doing that um and obviously just wear a pair of like summer shoes or spring shoes um there are more things that are, are coming and unfortunately during the recording of this video they haven't arrived yet you watch i'm going to be turning this off say goodbye to you lot then i'm going to be sitting down on the sofa editing to get this video up for friday which i will as you will have noticed by now and um you know what i'm going to hear the door it's going to be like ding dong 
I'm going to record it on my Snapchat, okay? Either my Snapchat or my Instagram stories. I may do a little bit of an unboxing. Actually, yeah, maybe I'll do a bit of an unboxing on there. So follow me on there. I'm Karen Britchick on Snapchat and on Instagram. Um, and yeah, you can hopefully see a little bit of an unboxing there. In fact, I will, definitely. So that will be that. It'll be like a little preview, you know, like part two of the things that I've got coming, but I'm so excited to see them. So, oh, one of them is coming from Matches. Yes, there is a matches, there is a high-end purchase thrown in there and it's not a bag either. And let me know about that dress, the long one with the bucket pockets. Do you think I should keep that or just get rid, right? Because if I do, I'm just gonna sell it to one of you guys. So let me know. And also the one that's really short, the one that has the ruffles here, the one that's the size petite. Tell me what you think. Do you think it even works as a dress or should I just wear it as a bodysuit? Anyway, I know I'm definitely gonna wear it as a bodysuit, but do you think it works as a dress or is it too short for me? Right, that's my lot. I will see you guys on Tuesday, of course. Have a lovely weekend. Apologies in advance for this video going out a bit late, but like I said, I wanted to film it the day that it goes up because I was hoping that a postman would arrive with some stuff. I'm gonna stop moaning and I will see you next time. Bye. But anyway, I have enough right now to get started, so let's just get stuck right in. Oh God, what am I doing? What is that? Oh my God, I'm half a plane. Ooh. All right, so, oh God, I'm fiddling. I'm fiddling, I'm fiddling again. Hold on, I'm really fiddling. With spring things, like to transition. By the way, oh, I can't speak. Speaking of hair, I am going to do a dedicated video. Oh, oh, <laughs> God, I can't speak again. Then I cut it. Sorry. Oh, jeez. Phone is going off again. Off, off. I've turned the phone off, but it's still going. I don't know what's wrong with this stupid thing. Anyway, out of all of the coats. God, I look really like Maggie. yourself I tell you if you don't laugh at yourself then who will but it's high-waisted I mean high-waisted bloody hell it's high-necked <laughs> it's so good anyway yeah again I'll show it on I'll show it on what the f sorry just look at that front whoa oh I turned the phone off oh I didn't <laughs> sorry needs a little bit of tip take tip tip Karen, oh, needs a bit, needs a bit. <laughs> Here we go. Notice how I scratch when I get nervous. The obvious, okay, that looks weird. It's doing that puff daddy thing again. What else is there? Oh, the top shop pieces. <sighs> the phone, Michael's back. The phone is ringing. Oh God, always, always. But where's the flipping post? Always the one thing you really want is not gonna happen.